Okay, hey air signs, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna do a reading for you guys, and we're gonna see what you guys need to know right now. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if my readings are resonating with you. So, let's get into it. Let me get energy for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What do they need to know right now? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What do they need to know right now? We got the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Some of you guys could be feeling like mentally stuck right now. We got the Dove card. Yeah, I feel like I need to end that. It, it could be like a lot of negative thoughts going on. So I want you to dead that. What else for the air signs? You got the Queen of Wands. I feel like if you're manifesting something, I see your um manifestations coming in around this time. Some of you guys could be manifesting the fire sign back. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this is someone that has that you haven't spoken to for a while now with this um Herman here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo too. I'm saying Scorpio. like y'all manifesting the fire sign back or if not y'all could be in love with a, a fire sign or falling in love with a fire sign because i'm seeing the relationship here queen of wands with the king of wands and then we got the ten of cups here but i feel like there's a lot of negative thinking when it comes to this connection there's an energy where like um someone makes you really happy with this ace of wands i feel like you're really feeling somebody ten of pentacles you want long term with this person yeah queen of cups i feel like you really love somebody or you're realizing that you're falling in love with somebody but I feel like there's a lot of negative thinking. And Spirit is saying to end that. This could be someone like very good looking, knows how to dress, someone that smells good. Someone thinks you're sexy and you think this person is sexy as well. I don't know. But I'm, I'm picking up as a new person. Or if not, you probably knew this person for a long time with the Six of Cups. Could be a, a, a long, how you say it, a long lost friend. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up for some of you guys. What's going on with the air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I feel like you and someone, like, I really look good together. Like, I complement each other. Got the nine of wands here. Yeah, I feel like there's an energy where, like, a lot of you guys, y'all went through a lot of shit in the past or, like, other connections and relationships. And it's, like, you projecting that onto this person. And it's funny because I picked that up for a Gemini reading the other day. So, it could be a lot of Geminis watching this video. But, yeah. There's a lot of negative thinking. See, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this person is, like, a good person, though. I'm not going to lie. Some of you guys could be feeling like this This is too good to be true. If you haven't met this person, you're definitely going to be meeting this person. This in your cards. It's promised to you. It's here. And Spirit wants me to give the message. Nine of Pentacles. This person is going to make you feel really good. This is someone that's going to want to spoil you. You want everything. For some of you guys, this is happening already. What's going on with the air signs? What else? What other messages do you got for the air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You got the Knight of Pentacles with the Four of Swords. I feel like y'all taking a long time to do something, to take action when it comes to something. Or this is y'all like trying to perfect something, but it's like y'all also stressing out at the same time. Because the Knight of Pentacles is, is like, that's the slowest night in the deck, but they still work. Like, they don't give up. They're a hard worker. That's what I'm picking up. We got the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it could be, like, work-related for a lot of you guys. What 
What else for air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Someone told me that I shuffle too much. How the fuck am I supposed to give the message? I got to shuffle. Hello. It's tarot. <laughs> I know. It's like a lot of... I don't know. Everybody reads different. Like, it's people that don't shuffle. They shuffle before they start their reading. And then they just start pulling out cards. No, I like to shuffle. I like to see the cards pop out. But, yeah. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We got the Two of Wands here. With the Nine of Cups. There's a phone call that you're going to be receiving. I feel like that's going to like change your energy. I feel like you're going to be really happy about something here. Yeah, the will. It's like some good luck. the eight of wands yeah i feel like this is something that she was waiting for some of you guys i have a sneaky link too i don't see the seven of swords i won't be surprised if the seven of swords pop out but i feel like some of you guys i have a sneaky link eight of wands four pentacles two of cups it's like you're keeping this this connection to yourself i feel like someone is really making you happy and it's like you're not really telling nobody right now I feel like, yeah, keep it keep it to yourself. I don't know who that resonates for. Just give them, like, sneaky link. Magician, yeah. I feel like y'all feeling somebody here. For real, for real. Someone sees a future with you. We got the father... Sorry, guys. We got the Five of Pentacles with the Emperor. There's an Emperor feeling like you don't mess with them like that. Someone is feeling left out in the cold. And look, we got the Seven of Swords. I can't make it up, guys. Like I said, some of you guys have a sneaky link. But I feel like, I don't know. Sorry, guys, because I'm getting different messages. I feel like, I don't know, with this person, I feel like you see something with this person. And it's like, you don't want you don't want other people to know because there's an energy where like you feel like once you start running your mouth about somebody, that's when shit start fucking up and crumbling down. So yeah, I feel like keep this connection to yourself for a while until y'all really know that y'all locked in. That's what I'm picking up for some of you guys. But yeah, there's an Aries over here um, that's still in love with you. They feel like you're leaving them out in the cold. I see this person coming towards you. I feel like they just want to chill with you, be with you, be in your energy. It's giving like Netflix and chill. And somebody just wants to take you somewhere. Like, they want to take you out. It's an energy where, like, this person is, like... I don't know if they left somebody else. Or, like, it's just people that... I don't know. This could be someone, like, attractive. The person that you're dealing with, I feel like, is other people after this person. And it's, like, other people salty that, like, they can't... Like, they'd rather be with you. Somebody just rather be with you. And it's like other people salty about that. Got the hermit here. Some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo. But also too with the hermit. Um, Like I was saying, I feel like keep a connection to yourself for a while. Like it's like you can tell certain people, but not everybody. That's what I'm picking up. We got the king of cups with the five of cups. There's a water sign and their feelings about you. You could feel a water sign like pulling on your energy. Maybe like missing you or some shit like that. You got the two of swords. Yeah, this person is like confused. Let's see. What? Tell me about this water sign. You got the moon card. With the high fence. Tell me about this water sign. Six of Wands. I really feel like somebody wants to be in your energy, but I don't. They don't know if they should like come towards you or some shit like that. I feel like this is someone that like hides their feelings a lot. I do feel like they want to be with you with the Six of Wands and this higher form, but I feel like they hide their feelings. I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, Tower. This is someone that self-sabotages connections. Not only with you, but with other people in their life. Other lovers that they had. 
eight of cups yeah i feel like something crumbled down and you just decided to walk away from this person someone could have been a fool with this fool card reckless we got the devil yeah a lot of tower moments someone could have been like really toxic and the best thing to do was for you to just walk away justice with the temperance i feel like a lot of you guys are at peace but i always get this energy but um yeah guys this is your reading i hope y'all liked it don't forget to like and subscribe if my readings are resonating with you and thank you for watching me bye guys